Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. And I am here today with a Walmart grocery haul. I haven't done one in a while and needed several things, so I decided to share it with you all. I spent $129 and some change, so I will jump right in. So I will start right back here with the saltines, unsalted tops. Howard really likes to eat um, crackers and peanut butter as a snack and he needed both. So I grabbed him some crackers. I also grabbed Harrison some honey graham crackers as well. He loves to eat those. I have wanted to try this new Gordo's home style queso dip for a while. I eat chips and queso several times a week as a snack for lunch. I love it. But this is our new home style recipe and it has tomatoes, chilies, and jalapenos. And this is what it looks like. Typically, I buy their original, um, <clears throat> excuse me, and it's a white queso. And I really love Gordo's. If you like restaurant style queso, this is definitely the brand you want to check out. I grabbed a salad kit. This is a Southwest salad kit. It has cabbage, tortillas, cheddar cheese, and chipotle ranch dressing. Um, I also wanted to try this out. This is the great value version of the Olive Garden salad dressing. And I compared the, the ingredients. They were pretty similar, except that the um, Olive Garden brand, it had egg yolk mentioned, I think like in the top you know, four ingredients and this one didn't. Um, so I'm wondering if there's gonna be a big difference in flavor, but I just wanted to try something different. I also grabbed some peanut butter for Howard's peanut butter crackers. Um, this is new to me, Griller's Choice. So this is one for beef marinade. They also had one for chicken as well. So depending on how you wanna prepare your beef, you add different ingredients. So if I wanted Asian, I'd add soy sauce, sweet and savory, cola, steakhouse, I'd add Worcestershire sauce. And then it has the recipe on the back. So I just wanted to give it a try. Um, this sweet chili wing seasoning is also new to me and just decided to give that a try. And then I bought this little um, deli meat tray. I used to buy these from Aldi. Of course, they were a lot cheaper at Aldi. I haven't seen them in a long time, so I decided to go with this one. It's the exact same meat tray, um, it appears. But anyway, just grab that for snacks. And then Howard needed some avocados. He eats those pretty much with every single meal. I grabbed some cream cheese. I got ch chive and onion and also mixed berry. Um, I have not seen this butter spread before, cinnamon honey butter, and it sounded good. They also had a hot honey butter spread as well. And then I grabbed some heavy whipping cream, which is very expensive now. Um, this one quart was five dollars and something and then a half a gallon was almost ten dollars for heavy whipping cream grabbed some shrimp scampi now this is something that i used to buy all the time and we really enjoyed it haven't bought it in a long time i hope they haven't changed the recipe but i just cook it up in a skillet and then add some pasta to it and it's a quick weeknight meal for us another thing that i used to buy all the time and haven't bought in a while are these chicken wings. Um, I like the Asian style, but they also have Cajun and they have a Parmesan wing as well. And I just prepare mine in the air fryer. The good thing about these wings is that it comes with a separate seasoning packet. So you can decide how much sodium or seasonings you want on your wings. I grabbed two Great Value Frozen Meals. I used to really love the spaghetti with meat sauce, and I still do. I just haven't bought it in a long time. So I like to have these on hand for just a quick lunch. Same with this beef burrito. I can't remember if I bought it or not, but I just wanted to give it a try. And then on a recent What's For Dinner video, I talked about these taco shells. Um, I had bought them for the first time, tried it on a dinner video, and these things are so good so light, so crunchy. I always warm up my taco shells and I heated them in the air fryer and these were actually floating around in the air fryer. That's how light they are. They are smaller than an old El Paso or Taco Bell type taco shell, but these things are so good. These are my new favorite taco seasoning and taco shells. And then 
since I love the taco shell so much, I decided to try their taco seasoning. Um, at my son's preschool, it is Teacher's Appreciation Week, and so I got some stuff for his teachers. Uh, now, this whatchamacallit bar I got for me because I love them so much, but um, one of his teachers really likes Reese's, so I got her the, um, the peanut butter cups and then this Reese's bar. I've not seen that before. Another teacher really likes Snickers and sweet tarts, and then um, I just got this garlic spread because we eat a lot of garlic bread. Usually I buy it frozen, but this is quicker and easier. Just wanted to try it out. Got some hot dog buns uh, for dinner this week. And then one of his teacher needed cardstock, so I got her the pastel and neon. And the same teacher also needed some glue, and I decided to give it to her in this storage bin, because you can never have too many storage bins. One of his teachers, or um, a staff member at the, his school, really likes flowers and things like that, so I saw these really cute push pins that are succulents, and I thought she would probably like those. And then I also grabbed Harrison some of these Nature Valley oatmeal squares. He absolutely loves these things. So this is everything that I picked up on my Walmart haul. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, we'd certainly love to have you. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.